Kumar, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how you can recover or restore data from an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance that was terminated. Let's get started. As part of an Amazon EC2 instance termination, the data on any instance store volumes associated with that instance is deleted. By default, the root Amazon Elastic Block Store device is automatically deleted. So it's not possible to recover either the original Amazon EC2 instance or any volumes that were deleted as a part of the termination process. However, you can use multiple methods to recreate the terminated instance. We can launch a replacement EC2 instance using Amazon EBS snapshots or Amazon machine images backups that were created from the terminated Amazon EC2 instance. Here, we can see that the instance production worker is in terminated state. Moving to the Amazon Machine Images console, we can see that there is a prior backup of the instance Production Worker by the name of Production Worker Backup 2022. So let's launch a replacement instance using this Amazon Machine Image as displayed here. For more information on how to launch a replacement instance, click on the link in the description. Another method is to check whether the root volume of the terminated instance is in available state. As we can see here in the EC2 console, the root volume of the terminated instance production worker is in available state in the volumes console. So we can attach this volume to another instance and further can access the data contained inside the root volume as shown here. For more information on how to attach an EBS volume to an EC2 instance, click on the link in the description. For future planning, use the following methods to prevent instance termination and volume deletion. Enable termination production of the EBS volume when you launch an EC2 instance. If you enable this option and the instance is later terminated, then the EBS root volume isn't deleted. You can then launch a new EC2 instance from the available root volume. Set the instance shutdown behavior to stop the instance instead of terminating it. If the instance is a part of Amazon EC2 auto scaling group, you can customize the termination policy or use scale in production. In addition to regularly taking snapshot and AMEs to back up the critical data, consider using termination production to help prevent this issue in the future. You can also automate snapshot with Amazon Data Lifecycle Manager and AWS Backup. So now you know how you can recover or restore data from your terminated instance and also the steps that you can take to prevent your data from getting lost in case of an accidental instance termination. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.